What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today I'm gonna bring you a Shopify tutorial. Before I tell you what the tutorial is about, there's a little story time involved. So, as you guys know, I used to be a WordPress, um, I'm sorry, my cat is running around like a crazy person. Um, I used to be a WordPress junkie and I did everything in WordPress, a million plugins every single day. Um, but anyways, I digress. So basically what happened is that I was lazy. I didn't have time. I didn't even want to think about learning how to use Shopify code because, you know, I was raised on HTML5 and CSS and PHP. I, I was raised in WordPress. I came from that era so it was very scary to move over to Shopify so instead of even trying to touch it because I was afraid I hired somebody off of Fiverr thinking that they could do better well the jokes on me because he kind of like half-assed did everything and I was gonna be lazy again and reach out to him to get him to fix the footer icons these icons right here they didn't link anywhere so he kind of left a lot of stuff undone. So when I went back out to reach out to him on Fiverr, he wasn't there. And obviously so. One thing I want to say, which has nothing to do with this video, is that you get what you pay for as far as quality goes. And um, so if you're looking to hire a programmer, a designer, or anything like that, um, usually the people who know what they're doing and do it well usually got to pay them a little bit more. Um, however, me being, you know, um, an entrepreneur or business person, I'm not, I don't have like thousands of dollars to spend on a coder or developer and most of the time I can do it myself. So I just can't justify those kind of funds. But usually I'm lazy and so I will pay someone, I think I paid him like eighty dollars to just basically it's everything was already there he just had to like transfer the the core root you know like it's kind of like um I had already made the template in WordPress all he had to do was just like transfer over logistics and put and pop in some CSS and do whatever fancy Shopify liquid coding that he does but anyways so it didn't take him very long to do it, so obviously it wasn't that hard. And I don't know why I was so afraid to go in and do it, because it was super easy and the code is very simple. So let me show you how I fix these to uh, pop out and go to their appropriate social media pages. So I'm gonna show you that it works. I'm gonna control click and it's gonna pop up my Facebook. And this is my Facebook group. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go back over here. And this is going to be really quick. And I'm sorry that I ran my mouth too long. Um, <laughs> I know you guys like instant gratification, but sometimes you have to wait for story time because I can't just say why I came to, you know, tell you about the footers. I have to tell you like the whole story <laughs> I'm a girl so that's what we do we have story time but anyways so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna come to your Shopify and you're gonna go to online store okay and you should click on your themes and then you're gonna go to actions edit code okay with me so far it's very simple this is stupid simple. I can't believe how stupid simple this was and I was about to pay this dude another freaking $80 to do this. This is insane. So you're gonna go down to, let's see, where is it? Sorry, I only did this one time. Okay, you're gonna go to settings.data.json. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but what the f Okay. And let me find it. Okay. 
So you're going to find at the very top, and you're going to scroll down, and you're going to see something like this, social underscore Twitter underscore link. And this is where you're going to put your link, okay? And these are my social links here. Okay, so these social Twitter link, Facebook Twitter link, okay, um, it starts right here and then you just add your social links here. Right in here. And what I did was I just added because before it was just www.snapchat.com, I just kind of like added the backslash and added my username. So that works. And let me go back to, yes, I'm not changing anything. I've already changed it. I've already learned how to do this. I'm using the debut. So I just kind of like basically modified debut to look like my, um, I basically took my WordPress template that I created and the debut um, theme from Shopify and made it have my design baby. So that's pretty much what I did. <laughs> so you can see here, this is the debut theme and it's been tweaked. So, but pretty much it is still the debut theme. It's just got my you know, spin on it. My, my design spin because before it was pretty freaking boring. So now all the social links work, all of them do. And I checked it to make sure it worked. So if you're wanting to know how to do that, that is pretty cut and dry. Um, it's a little bit more difficult because if you're working with WordPress, you would have just probably there probably would have been a section in, in the panel, like the editor panel to, to change that. But, or if you couldn't find it in there, you could edit it in the PHP, but unfortunately it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same at all. And I actually went onto the forums and I was told to edit the other JSON file. And it, it was close. But at least, you know, Googling and um, looking stuff up pointed me in the right direction. So, where is it at? This, yeah, because there is a settings.schema.json. So, if you go to the University of Shopify, which is basically like tips and tricks on how to edit and do stuff, you'll find a lot of that stuff is wrong, but it will point you in the right direction. And usually you can find somebody who's willing to, uh, you know, help out or something like that. You can ask them a question. They'll, they'll tell you, like, if you click, do, I was going to do a click to chat because I couldn't find that dude and I was not going to, you know, let another stranger into my Shopify world. So, yeah. Um, so there's two settings here and... Um, the one settings uh, underscore data dot JSON is the one that you want to edit. You can also go in, um, let me go back out to the online store. If you haven't changed your theme, because in this case I changed my theme, so nothing is as it should be. So I have to like go into the code and change things now because that's the way he did it. So I believe that you can go in here and you can customize, you can press customize, and then you can go into the footer section here and you can, um, you can um, change things here. You can edit the, the menus and stuff like that. You can edit the footer menus and then there is a section in there where you can change the social. I'm pretty sure yeah right here and I already have mine changed but this did nothing because of the situation because I this is a mod that when you modify when you have someone else modify the theme and you get like some kind of like cheapo uh, 
you know, theme <laughs> editor, they're not going to make it easy for you. Um, it's going to be more difficult. And I think that they do it deliberately because they want more money. So like that, you don't know how to like go back and edit it. But it should have been, he should have changed it to where it should have been edible from here. But it, it's not. There's a lot of things that I have to, like this menu. If I want to change anything on here, I have to go and change the code in the actual menu menu. But that was my backstory <laughs> for this. I hope you guys really liked this video. And um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And thank you so much for watching photohacklovers.com.